Hello everyone, Cradex here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age Gambletron 4000 Edition. Uh, we're definitely lacking a lot of circuits for this, but with new beacons and new modules, we should be able to make that a bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab, I think, these wires to add on to that steel belt, and we'll see if it's enough. I will output priority right. So we will only make beacons with wire that is not needed for making modules, basically. Uh, but I'm just going to plop those onto that belt. And that should get us some wires to make beacons with. And then that'll come up here on this belt. Doop -de doo And this is unfortunately the thing that needs to be steel. It goes left. Okay. That should do it. Um theoretically. They seem to be working. So there you go. Now we're spending even more things, using even more power. Gosh. I mean these things eat so much power. I'm like we need a big nuclear... I already have three different nuclear plants, and it's not even close to enough to just build this willy-nilly. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like... I need fusion power already. I know we could do some higher quality nuclear plants, and that would help a little bit. But it doesn't help that... I mean, I guess it helps a decent amount. Like, if we did a nuclear plant that you know, recycled them until I had rares. I think that's decent. That's 60% more. Um, more power. But yeah, we are already excited about fusion, that's for sure. Okay, so here's... Wow, I already have two epics and a rare. Probably we'll just skip caring about uncommons. It's such a small boost. I mean, 1.5 to 1.7 is just not a big difference. Uh, 1.9, though, that's a much larger boost. It's like an extra third. Because what we need first is more red circuits. And more red circuits. Well, first off, let's see. Are they all running? They all seem to be running. So we do just need faster... Faster buildings. So that can be done with a combination of... Better... Modules. Maybe I do rares? Feels risky. We'll start with uncommons. Better modules and better beacons. I'll actually request rares and uncommons. It also is weird to me. Oh, that's doubly weird. Uh, when you're going to set a request, it defaults to any quality? But you can't actually request any quality. What the? Wait, what? You can? Now I'm doubly can. Oh, this would be to trash? For trashing, you can trash any quality? I think that's for trashing. Interesting. Yeah, that that makes it weird, though. I I mean, I guess it makes sense because you you would assume that it would default to just common quality rather than having to manually pick common quality. But I guess because of that trashing thing, maybe that changes it. Anyway, uh, what's the setting that turns it into a menu instead of a tab? I don't remember. It's somewhere in interface. Uh, it's one of these somewhere. Maybe, no, mm. 
people ask this pretty frequently, so I figure we can we can find it for everybody's benefit. Uh, is it not this one? Well, it's not mod settings. Is it in graphics? No, I don't think so. I'll be in here somewhere. Uh, play sound parameters, smart belt building, undo, redo, confirmation dialogues. Show all items in a selection list. No, that's not it, Edison. That's something else. Um, ah, this one. Flat character GUI is turned off. And that's on by default. So. That was a change they made a while back, and I didn't like the change. And thankfully, they had an option to undo the change. So this is the old version, and I prefer it. Because most of the time, you don't need these at the same time. And it just is cleaner to not have the inventory take up the whole screen for me. Uh, it keeps everything closer together that you want. Uh, anyway, so let's do some uncommon modules here. What are these? 8.45? And then when I speed them up, change them to 10.79. It's a reasonable boost. But the real boost is going to be turning these to... Yeah, 12... Point one four two. Oh, they gave us three decimals on that. Interesting. They go to three decimals. I might as well make all these other comments. Since I'm holding a bunch. Oh, and then... Fast are we talking now? 15.6 crafting speed? Pretty fast. Wait, I'm out of red circle. Wait, a stack inserter? Or sorry, a bulk inserter is not fast enough? That feels hilarious. I guess they do use an absurd amount of green chips. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is nuts. They're absolutely nuts. Okay, so what we need... like that Gambletron is running constantly. Problem is all the Gambletrons are running. Um, I kind of need these to stop running. For now. Part of me wants to just deconstruct this whole mess. Oh. Can't do that. Did I ever save this as the Gambletron 3000? Oh, I, I saved it as the Grand Gambler. So I think, was that a different version? No, that might have been the same version. Yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, um... Quality inserters, yeah, yeah, that's a whole thing too. That's a whole thing. Hmm. All sorts of things that I would like to upgrade. I also could set up stacking for these um, if I really wanted to make sure things stayed compact. But that would only be necessary if these buildings were using a bunch of items per second from the belt. Which 
which they're not. No. I don't think that's too big of a deal. But yeah, those are totally gonna spoil. Totally gonna spoil. Um. Decided, I do not care. <laughs> so beacons. How are these? How are these? Working? Okay. I guess I have six, so they are they are rolling slowly because we don't have enough red circuits. Um, I don't have enough red circuits because I don't have enough blue circuits. So wait, these need to be faster? Will that help anything? I'm just out of red circuits. <sighs> out of red circuits. Yeah, quality inserters aren't as good as it sounds because of the grabbing being a big part of it. Yeah. And I mean, I, I sort of knew that already because I've played with a lot of different modded inserters. What really helps inserters probably more than the swing speed is actually the uh, um, the stacking, you know, stacking to four on a belt. That probably is a much faster upgrade for a bulk inserter than like an uncommon or rare bulk inserter. But yeah, the, uh, you know, chest to chest is obviously going to be a lot faster when you upgrade inserters. But yeah, I just need more reds. This is crazy. This is crazy. So, I guess I could go to Fulgora. I haven't looked at Fulgora in ages. Uh, how are things? Well, nothing's run away in terms of amounts, so that's good. Things still seem to be working. Somehow this train network hasn't broken. But, uh... Yeah. I guess the question is, do I want to start getting... Better than just uncommon electromagnetic plants? Well, you know what I need is like better quality threes. I do have a lot of rares actually. Um, okay, so what's the easiest way? figure out what I can do okay first thing I want to do is put uh, epic quality threes onto the derpamu picking up from Novus um, Available on planet zero. Wonderful. I just used them all. Um, what do we have available? We have plenty of rares. Maybe I settle for rares for right now. Well, I say plenty. I only have 88. I really, so what I really don't like is there's no, I, I think I said this last time, there's no way to request things if they're available and don't worry about it if they're not available. Um, Cause 
you know, all requests satisfied is a condition that you might want to use, but it's like, well, certain things are vital items and other things are non-vital items. And there's no easy way. I mean, obviously you can do it with combinator stuff, but it'd be nice if there was a way to, to separate like required things to meet requests and just things that eh, I'll request, a, I'll request however much I have, you know, and then just carry those to another planet. There's no easy way to do that, to be just like, oh, request 10,000 of this thing to just kind of simulate grabbing all of it and taking it with you. There's no really simple way to do that without it also causing an unsatisfied request. Um, but this should be fine, because we don't actually have wait for requests anyway on Nobis. Should be fine. We'll get some quality threes on here, and then on Fulgora, we want to request quality three modules. Uh, I do not know the answer to that, Alor. Um, yeah, and inactivity time can work for sure. But then you run into the issue where if the planet that's sending stuff doesn't have um, proper rocket product, like rockets don't get sent fast enough, you know, if that can be, it. so you run into little issues one way or another, you like that, I feel like that's space age, right, like there's always these little edge cases, and there's just a lot more of that, that we have to deal with, with these rocket plat or, uh, space platforms, than just, you know, trains. So this is needing better modules, and then this is needing better modules, and then these uh, clearly I did this wrong. No wonder we have so many. It's funny, I actually have been doing this wrong, but at the same time, it's ended up giving me a lot of rares that would be nice to have. So, now we want to request on the Derp Moo. Wait, sorry, the Hendrickson. Wait, the, what am I doing? The Derp Moo doesn't even go to Fulgora. Oh, no. Okay, good. It didn't even... The Hendrickson is the Fulgora. We'll just do rares for now. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. And then I also want to request... Wait. Oh, yeah because it recycled all the regulars. That's why that's not getting met. I would also like to request rare electromagnetic plants. Yeah, at this point, you're right. I should just remove regulars. Um, but I'm also confused on why we're not getting any cyclers here because I thought we had set up the same same business did we not uh, I get, uh, wait no 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 I think I set it up with a request somewhere maybe not OK, 
Okay. Um, well, in that case... We need to recycle regular recyclers. And put quality modules in here. Um... It's just such a pain in the butt because then eventually you're going to end up with too many epics or something if I'm requesting rare. Like, there's just such little edge cases that once you start doing quality, you have to handle all the qualities. I almost wish you could clamp the, the output. I know it sounds weird because you're getting less than you want, but like once you've unlocked, well heck, even from the beginning, you unlock rare and uncommon at the same time. I kind of wish you could tell an assembler I know you have a small chance to make rares and epics and legendaries. I don't want you to do that. I want you to only give me uncommons at best. Because um, that would actually really help a lot of builds where your main goal is just to use the uncommons anyway. And the, the few rares that you get are actually more of a nuisance than a help. It would be kind of nice if you could clamp it. Um, you know, because like once you unlock epic, that's another example where like some of your old builds, you might just want to clamp it so that they don't produce any epics and just keep it to uncommons and rares. But, um, yeah, because right here, I mostly want uncommon recyclers, but we will get some other types. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? So we need a, one of these, we need a requester. Provider, let me request crap recyclers. And that runs if scrap or recyclers. Uh, if recyclers is greater than 50. Yeah, and I actually don't want quality in that. I guess I could put quality in that because I'm using the uncommons, but the rares and the epics will build up, which is, again, potentially problematic. Okay. For now, this is just burning resources until we have the uncommons, or until we have the modules. So I should probably put my best module I have here. Best I have is rare twos. Let's put rare twos in it for now. And then I'll put the rare threes in over the top. Yeah, Waskly, well, I mean, it... It, they'll build up over time. I don't. I, I'm not handling, you know, extras. We could do. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so how are these doing now? Still lacking some red circuits. Blue circuits are actually coming to build up, which is nice. I thought, I thought half a belt of greens would be enough, but we're actually, look at that, we're actually using the entire, uh, what is that, 120 per second. That's nuts. That's just crazy. really think there's an easy way to get more. Uh, we're going to have to start doing train-based builds and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I would just need a second build. Okay, so that's running. Gambletrons are going. I need to stop them at some point. That's That's the thing. Like, I need to have a condition on something. The 
has stopped the whole process. Like right now, how many uh, quality threes do I have? I guess my inventory probably has them all. I just used it. Yeah, I've only got that one. So those will stop when we have enough epic quality threes. Hey, Candela. Um, I'm not using any mods. So zero mods is the answer. Where are you? There you are. If epics are less than 50, is 50 enough? I'll say 100. Okay, and then here. Epic prod threes. Yeah, if brownout, Gambletron equals zero. Um, I guess we also need uh, the ability to turn this off then. Which again, it blows my mind that I can do it this easily with an inserter, but not with an actual logistics chest. It's still, that one still gets me, man. I, I don't get that decision. I'm sure it's probably because like, because these are already logistics connected, somehow it wouldn't have worked to do it that way. I don't know. I'm guessing it's more of a under the hood reason than a gameplay reason. Uh, why am I typing logistics? I'm looking for quality three of the epic. No, prod three. Okay, so once it hits 100, these will stop inserting and this will stop requesting. Maybe I shouldn't stop these from inserting. Maybe I should just stop that from requesting and then it'll use up more of the eggs that way. So, Cause that one condition alone will stop the whole process. So that's probably a little easier. Um. That is waiting, but that's going to take the Hendrix in a while. Okay, it's got him. It just needs to get to Olgora, and we are requesting it. Okay, so then that will stop this one. I guess we can just do the same, the same idea like this. Stop requesting carbide. If speed three epics are at a hundred. Okay, I'm gonna grab some rare speed threes though, just for my own personal use for now. And then They are all running, surprisingly. I wonder how many circuits we're making these days. Holy crap, 10,000 green chips a minute? That's a lot, that's a lot. Wow. And 34,000, or 3.4 thousand red chips a minute. All right, so what do we actually need to do? Uh, we got kind of sidetracked. So epic quality stuff, quality modules and beacons. That's what we're doing. Okay. What else do we need? We need, we've sort of redone metallurgy. We've sort of redone circuiturgy. I think I can take those off the list for now. So I think it is finally time to begin preparations for Aquilo, um, which is crazy. So, oh, we have a bunch of epic things now. 
Bring a sweater. Yes, yes, we will need to bring a sweater. Uh, epic beacons. Forget rares, we're going epic. I need to upgrade bot speed again. These guys are going slow. Now that research is cheaper. So what did I want to speed up? I mean, does it even matter at this point? For blue chips, it's more about prod than speed, because they're using up the entire thing. But I guess we could use some more speed here. But yeah, we really need the the prod. Threes, I guess, to be better here. And I'm not requesting. Epic Prod Threes, and we shall. I don't have so many. Am I requesting? I guess I'm requesting those. Maybe that's just from, I don't know, some manual stuff. I know that's weird when it when I do that, but the way that it ends up working out is the bots just give me back whatever I already had requested. So it doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. <laughs> 175% productivity. Oh my goodness, that is nuts. I mean, look, the, the purple bar is going way faster than the green bar. I love it. I love it. How much power? These are taking 23, 26 megawatts. Insane. Yeah, the nice thing, I'm glad they made legendary um, two steps above epic, because otherwise it wouldn't have felt um, quite as good, uh, let's see, what's the easiest way to describe this? Uh, it would be with one of the things where I can type, what are they called? Display. So, basically, the progression goes 1, 1.3, 1.6, 1.9. If the next one was 2.2, that would feel normal in a lot of ways, because, like, well, that's just the next number in the sequence. But if you think about the actual improvement from 1.9 to 2.2, now it's still about a 30% flat improvement, but you're starting at what is basically two. So that's really only like a 15% improvement. So I really like that they made the final boost a double jump, because then that actually feels like, oh, going from Epic to Legendary is, an, is another big upgrade. Um, so I do like that. I think that was a good decision. Now, plastic is gone. So let's take a quick gander at that. What's that? What's the, the situation here? Um, the situation is we could make this a lot better in a lot of ways. Uh, I've also forgotten. These just increase productivity, which means basically speed is increased. I mean, look, look at these guys. They increase productivity by almost the amount they decrease speed which is a huge boost already. And then we can take our faster speed modules. And then we can take our epic beacons. And now that's really gonna, gonna cook it up. Uh, I guess we're actually having a, a rate issue here. Is that oil? No, it's just these guys are too slow. Um, I mean, that's because we have old ass speed one modules here. We can do better than that. There we go. What's our what's our oil production now? Fluids. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that. We went from about fifteen thousand to about thirty thousand. So that doubled everything. 
rounding was screwing you a lot on prod in the lower tiers. Oh yeah, that that is um, kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing. I guess this one works normally. It goes four, five, six, seven, and then ten instead of nine because of rounding. The prod twos are kind of weird though, that it only goes six, seven, but then seven, nine, eleven, and then I don't know. It's yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, you're not generally going to... I guess we were doing some some gambling on the Prod 2s. But the Uncommons were kind of sad at only 7%. But yeah, I think we're good on Plastic now. Let's actually upgrade that to a Green Belt. Not the belt I thought it was. This is the belt we're looking for. These are the droids. Okay. Get that all upgraded. And then... What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh... Well. I guess... Aquilo? Potentially. We're going to need a new platform. So... Starter pack... Oh yeah, I don't. I don't have to. I do like that you, they thought about this. That you don't have to like manually get a starter pack to it. Uh, we are going to grab the newest Patreon member for this one as a thank you, doubling as a shout out and a thank you. Uh, I believe it is. I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, Synthus. So Synthus, thank you for the support. The, the SS Synthus will be our Aquilo, Aquilo bound platform. And I have no idea how to design for this. I know we need the missile turrets because the asteroids are bigger. Um, yeah, these only show up after Aquilo, so we only need to worry about these guys. So they have absurd, so infinite electric and fire resistance, mostly infinite laser resistance, though technically not. You could do enough infinite laser damage researches to, for you to be able to take these down. And then, and then it breaks into mediums, which is worth noting that you still need to take care of the mediums after it breaks those. Um, Wait, I've dealt with mediums already, right? In just the normal... Yeah, yeah, the mediums show up everywhere. Um, and then the bigs... Yeah, have 2,000 physical resistance. What kind of damage do my rocket turrets do, though? I guess it's the rockets that do the damage. Oh, they deal explosion damage. I assumed explosion damage was only from the area of effect stuff. Okay, so they only have a 10% resistance then to these guys. So it'll take about three rockets per. Uh, is that right? 760 times 0.9. I don't think is enough, actually. Times three is 2052. Okay, actually, three rockets is enough at my current upgrade. Cool. Okay. So we're going to need to make rockets on the platform. We need to get to infinite upgrade 12 for two-shotting. Yeah, we're, I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. Explosion damage. 12. I'd need to do 9, 10, 11, and 12. I need to do four more. And it doubles every time? Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, let's not. What could happen is some more plastic and free rocket fuel, though. And... Some more free LDS. Why not? Some more bullet damage. For mining prod. More steel. Do a little bit of everything. Oh, I should probably do Planet Discovery Aquilo. Um, well, we'll queue that up next. 
Okay, let's start designing our Aquilo platform. I will start with requesting some basics, cargo hub. And what's this called? Space Platform Foundation. I'll request a thousand of that. Then I would like to I might keep using the Gambletron 3000 for things like gun turrets or or missile turrets because that actually feels kind of handy. Um, so let's let's Gambletron. The problem is we need to use an assembler and assembler will not fit properly with this. Eh, maybe they will. Yeah, if you build new ships over the other planets, you have to make sure to get the defenses up there pretty quick. That's for sure. Um, so what do I actually care about having higher quality of? Do I want to do higher quality nuclear reactors? Or am I fine with regulars? If anything, maybe I should do higher quality boilers. Um, okay, so we need to modify this a bit. Uh oh. I can do that. I need to know what it's connected to. The red wire. Okay, the green wire is connected to the back of that one and the back of this one. The red goes to the red star and green goes to that green star. I need to do the same thing. Um, and the settings need to be the same. So red. That's not red. Red goes to there and And then the, it was set recipe, read working, and red control signal. Like this. Okay. Um, and then, these don't have any settings. Then that works. Oh, quality pump jacks have less of a drain? That's nice to know, Mega Man. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, okay, and then we'll do questers. And now... What? I'm trying to remember why I can't... I outsert the epics here. Did I have a good reason for that? Because then they end up going in here. Which is where they... Oh, they don't end up going there. They... Ah, this one has a different... Ah, right, 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 right. Okay. Never mind. I remember now. Um... I would need to make that a provider chest, which we didn't want to do. Yes. Okay, sorry. I remember. I remember now. So, yeah, we do need, unfortunately, these three. So, then these need to basically stop based on the epic quality three. I'll parameterize this in a minute. Quality three um, being less than, you know, 100 or whatever. And then those will stop running once we have enough epics. And then we're going to need... Start with rares in these. Just for consistency. Uh, and then what are we... What are we crafting? For our first iron. So turbines could be nice. 
Satisfactory or Factorio, which is better? Um, I've said this before, and, you know, there's... I'm not mad at you or anything, but I think that's a bad question. Um, they're, they're very different games that... They do have a lot of overlap, yes. They are in the factory genre. There's a lot of systems in both of them that can be argued are somewhat similar. But they're solidly in different game feels. I don't know if that's a word. Kind of like for food, mouthfeel is a thing. Like, game feel is a thing, and they feel completely different to play. So I don't think you can say one is better when there's such different games. You know, if you were comparing something like um, Factorio to... What's a game that's closer to Factorio? I mean, there's a lot that are closer than Satisfactory, in fact. Like, even Dyson Sphere Program is far more similar to Factorio, and the comparisons are far easier to make. Um, Satisfactory being 3D is already enough of a difference in the way that the game plays out, and just the way the buildings are, and the way the building of buildings is. It feels so different to play. That being said, I prefer Factorio. Um, but that's a preference. It's not saying that Factorio is better. I like, I can get lost in Factorio for hundreds and hundreds of hours, whereas Satisfactory, I kind of get burnt out pretty quick. Um, so I'm trying to decide what I actually want. I feel like it's gonna, I, if I do one thing, I'm gonna have to do them all, but that's not really true. Maybe I should focus on Um, I mean, asteroid collectors are, make a pretty big difference when they're higher quality because they have more collection arms, so they really zoom, but a few uncommons is good enough for me. I almost feel like it's the ammo, but that's not, that's made in space. Maybe assemblers. Maybe having better assemblers in space is actually going to be a big deal. Um, so let's start with that, to be honest. Oh, sorry. I, to parameterize this, though, these need to start with those. We need the quest. So then... Uh, Viking, that's actually just a recent patch. Um... It cha that's changed for everybody. It used to be a drop-down menu for quality, but now it's just a uh, now it's just a little bar right here. That was like two updates ago. I don't know, two or three days ago. So that's nice. It's funny. This has the programming that it'll only run when we have enough ingredients for two things. But that's not really necessary for assemblers. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, I think I can just save this. Uh, in here. As Grand Gambler Assembler. And we want to parameter. Oh, what is that? Why is that a parameter? Wait, what? Oh, that's measuring. That's all of them put together. Being. Um. gonna be hard to parameterize isn't it so um... yeah the problem is these are 10 each I think if I take those off of being 10 each, I can parameterize it. Because we need it to not be 10 and 10. Let's just go to 12 on that. Uh, 
And this is currently making 150 rares before it moves on to epics. Let's change that to a default of 50. Um, five regulars, five uncommons. Let's go to, to 20 uncommons, because sometimes I'm going to want some uncommons of things. And then it'll move on. And then... I think I can now parameterize this nonsense. I don't know what's happening here. I can delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Definitely delete that. Okay, so then this is the assembler version. And so this is the grand gambler assemblers. And we'll parameterize, and now we get to have a really fun time. Oh, and even the 2500, oh no. Um, that was specifically set with the crafting time in mind. So is this going to need to be a, a formula? God. What's the one? Okay, I don't need to change that, that's for sure. So anyway, this, let's start with the easy stuff. That's parameter. Um, this is ingredient one. And this is double the amount. So we do uh, P0, I1, times two. Ha, you guys thought I was building my Aquilo ship? This is just gambling. Uh, Gambletron 5000. <laughs> uh, let's see, is that right? The item count of ingredient one, of parameter zero. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be easier to adapt to just anything, but we hadn't really done that hard work yet, have we? So here we are. Um, so then this goes to ingredient number two. This is only going to support four ingredients, which I think is okay. I don't think there are many buildings that require five ingredients, but there are definitely some. So that's going to make me real sad, isn't it? I'm going to have to redo this or add that in at least for things that have five ingredients. Does a nuclear reactor have five ingredients? <laughs> if so... Uh, that needs to be I3 and I2. I don't know what I'm doing here. Parameter ingredient, parameter ingredient. Uh, parameter formula, P0 times I4 times 2. No, P0 underscore. There we go. That's why it doesn't like it. Um, okay, so that's good. This is how many commons. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's how many... Also, can we talk about how it's actually really annoying that it doesn't show the quality symbols in this particular screen? When it's saying in circuit condition, you know, quality three is greater than 20, it's, that should be uncommon, you know, but it doesn't show the quality symbols in these. That uh, makes this even harder to do properly. It's just, you know, this is already a pretty rough around the edges screen, and the fact that those don't show quality is, is definitely uh, not helping there. So the issue with this now is this is the delay that it has before changing to a new recipe. And this delay was configured so that we would not end up the delay is configured so we wouldn't end up changing before we it was we wanted to change to a new recipe halfway through the second craft i don't care about crafting two things in a row anymore because this isn't um you know what's the word uh these don't have extra productivity, so I don't need to do two in a row. But I might as well do two in a row, because it's not costing me anything um, to do it that way. 
and then it works if I turn this back into an EMP version. So then the question is, can I can I formularize this easily enough to make that crafting time? Because we want the assembler is going to have quality modules in it, which is going to slow it down to a crafting speed of about one. So if I want it to last for two recipes, or I should say one and a half recipes, then we need to do the crafting time times 1.5 times 60. Is that right? Sure. And then this, can you do a formula and a variable? I don't know if you can do both, but I need that to be X. And this is just negative uh, one times X minus two. I know these parentheses aren't technically necessary, but they're for clarity. Um, I don't know if negative X works. That's why I'm not doing it that way. It, it might work, but I'm not taking any risks. Uh, anyway, then this formula is going to be the crafting time of and we need to drag these down below. P zero T times 60 times 1.5. Save. Okay, so theoretically, if I plop this down and hit assembling machine, it'll just hashtag work minus the requesters. Oh god, well then, that's why. And that feels excessive, but I'll settle for it. Does this work? Don't really know. Ah, well, no, because it doesn't have any quality module. Let's start with that. <laughs> um, I need to request these in my own inventory. Uh, these should not still be missing on Fulgora. Hendrickson has 50 rare Q3s. Fulgora should have requested those ages ago. And it is. What's happening? Does, does the Hendrickson not have unload? Checked. It does. Uh, help me out, guys. Why is this not working? Got the 50 Q3s. Q3 rare. At Fulgora, we are requesting, and it's checked, Q3 rare. What's missing? Like 99% sure this should drop the rare Q3s when we get over Fulgora. Why has that not been happening? Hmm. It hasn't been to Fulgora yet? No, that's not possible. It's been a long time since I said this. It's been like, I don't know, forever. Although this does have the 1800 seconds, has that happened? Maybe that, maybe that's what it is. This does only go every 30 minutes. I forgot that that had a 30 minute timer set. Uh, room in landing pad shouldn't be an issue. Okay, it seemed to drop on that time. 
Maybe it literally did take that long. That was, we must have hit the beginning of that 30 minute timer. I think you're right, Maria. I think it just hadn't gone yet. Weird. Okay, now this is not running because we're not making very many assembling machine twos. Uh oh. Ah, are you kidding? Ugh. Do you guys see the problem? Oh no. So because it had the other ones had four ingredients, these have conditions that require four conditions. Oh Edison, you're here. I literally almost I wasn't sure if you were in the stream. Uh yeah. I was looking at Edison's solutions to quality, though I, I don't know if I actually learned anything from it. Not because your blueprints are bad, but it's really hard to understand someone else's quality gambler blueprint. All that to say, this means I'm gonna have to figure out how to manage the fact that we have extra recipe, uh, extra ingredients in some and not in others. I could, is there a way? There's gotta be a way to do this. I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, I could fix every one, but that's, but that's annoying because I have to delete them in every single combinator, which shows up in four places. So, I mean, I could just do that. Uh, also, this is not. It's resetting way too fast. That's the problem. Because the craft time is so flipping short that it's not giving enough time for the inserter to run. Um, you know what I probably need to do is change... Craft time is like half a second for this, right? Yeah. Um, so what I might need to do is add a flat amount, you know, like an extra five seconds, just so that. Oh, this, is an, this is an interesting issue. What I probably should have done is waited for it to start running, you know, and then started a timer. And then that would have worked better. Instead, we have this issue where it's going for 45 ticks and it really needs to go for like 150 ticks. And that's 152. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think if I were to do all this again, I would say screw it and figure out how to do it all with bots, because this really is more of a pain in the butt than, than one really wants to deal with. But it is working. Um, 
Okay, so now I would like to figure out why this is so slow. Because these gears are really slow. I don't know what's going to make that a lot faster. Something like this. And that. And this. And we'll just densify the belt by 4x. Easy peasy. They need a lot of iron plates, but that that should be a decent amount better. Yeah, I was wondering if that would be too slow. I need a speed in there. Okay, that should help things along. I could I could just build all this in space. That's a good point. You know, why 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 build things on a planet? What is happening with iron? this would be a good opportunity for these epic beacons and my new newfound prod threes here. Uh oh, I'm out. I'm all out. But yeah, and then this needs to be a green belt. So anyway, uh, we should be getting some better assemblers. Ugh, do I really want to make different versions of the of the Grand Gambler just for different ingredient numbers? It's super annoying. So the way to handle it would be to have the extra, but there's no way to st to parameterize an if you know something has three ingredients. So it's always going to be a parameter, and then it's just going to be a blank parameter if you have three ingredients. And there's no way to fill in that blank thing with something else if there is no third ingredient. So I actually don't know if it's possible. Because it's almost like you need a dummy, a dummy signal that it would put there if you didn't have three ingredients. And then you could make that dummy signal just always... You could send a fake or send a signal of 10,000 of that dummy signal. And then if it didn't have three ingredients, you know, it would just get that. But I don't actually think... I'm going to queue up the Aquilo and do that next. I don't actually think that's possible. Hmm. Interesting. And it also doesn't sound right that I've gotten zero. I've gotten zero. This will just be faster on stack size one. Okay, 
Okay, that is working properly now, I think. Yeah, we've got eight rares. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, sorry, those are inactive providers. I'm a dummy. We probably have some epics by now. Um... No? No, we don't. Interesting. Oh well, we'll get there eventually. Hello, Valerie, how you doing? Yeah, maybe I just need to do more basic, like, keep rolling until we get a certain amount of uncommons or rares or whatever and be done with this. Because I think I do want uncommon grabbers. So wherever I'm making grabbers, I think what we want to do is recycle... Oh wow, and crushers too. So I think we can just do a simple... Like, forget this. Forget that. We'll do thrusters too. Oh, we have so many. Um... New, new ish plan is basic stuff that we want slightly higher quality of. Am I really out of rare Q3s too? I am. Wait, why are those almost out? I should have a decent number of those. Um. Oh, those are not provided to the network. That's why I have to manually grab them. Okay. So yeah, my idea here is we request the thing, we make the thing, it goes into the provider chest, and then we we just recycle the commons if we have Well, I'll just use the the limit as the as the guide. So if I have too many regulars in here, I'll start recycling them. So that's enabled if grabber. No, what's it called? It's not called grabber. What are you called? Asteroid collector. Ah. Could have sworn the word grabber was in there. <laughs> Clearly, I've made that up. <laughs> uh, so if that's greater than, if we have more than ten or even five regulars, we'll start recycling. Uh, recycler, and then that will just go back into the network, and that's it. So this will make you know, that many slotfuls of non-common versions of whatever it is we're making. Um, and I'd like to do that for the grabber. I'd like to do that for the crusher. I'd like to do that for the thruster. You're all good? You're a bit bored after you played through the DLC? Yeah, I am uh, not there yet. We still have lots to do. And there's so much, even even if I were to beat the game, like let's say the game was finished as soon as you get to Aquilo, which I know it's not. But let's say it was. Even if that were the case, I would still have so much, like, my base is disgusting, right? So I could work on upgrading the base and making a whole new base with proper modules and beacons and my train network. I, I haven't even touched the train network yet, you know? And then you go to like Fulgora. I could make a proper base on Fulgora, which is a whole different thing. And I just feel like there's so much left you could do even after winning. It's kind of crazy. Okay, but I think these are good to go now, right? Also, did I ever research the inventory? Uh, yeah, the tool belt equipment. I need to make that. Um, why not do the same method? I should parameterize this. 
tool belt equipment. What do they stack to? It is important what it stacks to. Otherwise, I may have too many stacks going on. Those stack to 10. So that's fine. These stack to 10. These stack to 20. So yeah, I don't know if I need that many. One stack for normal, uncommon, rare, epic. So this should be getting us, yeah, some uncommons. I got bigger collection area, slightly faster arm, and two arms. Oh, it consumes a lot more electricity, though. That probably won't matter too much. I doubt those are going to be the main, main electricity consumption in the base. Um, now I want to do one. Should I do one for nuclear reactors? That feels kind of risky, but I kind of want to. Let's start with um, heat exchanger. Does the heat, we don't get free heat from that, right? No, yeah, higher qualities don't get free stuff. They just go faster. The nuclear does though. The nuclear actually, or no, it just consumes more fuel. So nothing ever gets more efficient with any of these being higher quality. We just use less space, basically. Okay. That. Change you to you. That. Yes, you can use the foundry in space. And I certainly will be. Because that means we need a lot less, um, you know, stuff. We'll still need some calcite, but you can get calcite in space for free. So we can actually... I don't even know, you know, once you're in a in a space with more of the medium asteroids, you could maybe have enough iron and copper in space to just do what you need to do. Alright, I have no idea if we have enough bots for all this. Nope, my bots are not happy. We never set up automatic uh, logistic bot insertion. Get that going. We need the same thing. Just spot. Connect. And not Z, but they'll just spot as X. So that should get us enough steam turbines someday. And there we go. Ooh, look at that uh, floating point error. 9.59999? Man, good thing it's not 9.6. That would be overpowered. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so the thrust that it generates, I think, is all proportional. So it just essentially consumes more and generates more thrust, which is kind of a big deal. And then, yeah, those just mean better power efficiency on the crusher front. Now, why are they not getting recycled? Ah, uh, this needs to say anything. No, no, that's not what we want. No, we need a filter. Ah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Filter crusher. I forgot to filter it. I don't know why. Um, okay, so we're going to have to change it all. On all of them. We really should have parameterized this, shouldn't I? Grab tool bell, put it there and there. Perfect. Grab asteroid collector. I wish you could... Mm, like, we can't grab it and then open this with left click. Instead, I have to do it the old-fashioned way. 
but then I can click that over. And then this one is the thruster. Click that over. This one is the heat exchanger. Click that over. This one is the turbine. Click that over. Easy peasy. Okay, that wasn't working. Alright, then that'll keep things more empty so we'll be able to make the uncommons and whatnot. Alright. How much do I care about turrets being uncommon? Um, We already set that up, didn't we? How many uncommons do I already have? I have 30? I even have 22 rares? Might be enough. What are my conditions on turret making? It looks like... I was just aiming for 30 uncommons. I see. Okay. So if we upgrade those, and now I aim for 100 uncommons. That should get us a few more rares along the way. And then we are still using all of our iron. Probably because of all the buildings we're making. Wait. Did I not fix this? You know what? I might have fixed this for copper, but not iron. Because, yeah, I think I did this for copper. There we go. That was preventing us from getting more than half of the green belt. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I did that for copper, but not for iron. Okay, so there's a little bit more iron per second. Um, part of it's because we're doing research, too. I guess that's spending some resources. And I'm still making science pretty inefficiently. I haven't put modules in all these, like the new prod modules and such, which would probably help. Let me at least do that for the expensive sciences. Ah, I guess those were already going a little bit better, but we can at least go from, what is it, 24% to 54% prod helps a bit. And then we can go for better speed right here and a better beacon right here. That should speed up things quite a bit. Get us an extra 20 something percent. Go free. And then... Yeah, so we, we put conditions on... The quality module Gamble Tron. We put a condition on the Prod 3 module Gamble Tron. And we put a condition on the Speed 3 Gamble Tron. Did I put a condition on the Beacon Gamble Trons? I don't believe I did. Um, so let's say Beacon Epic less than 100. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Um. What in the hoot nanny? This. Uh, yeah, that's kind of. Is stack size one gonna fix the problem? Hmm. No. No, it's not. So, how do we help it out here? I guess we have to set it to be... What's the... Okay, hold on, hold on. When one of these recycles, it recycles into a fourth of this. So it recycles into exactly five of each type of circuit. And there's no chance based in that. So we should probably set the stack size to, to be five. But the problem is they're actually coming out stacked which I also didn't notice that was even possible. Um, but they do. But that should make it slightly faster. Sometimes it might. Uh, I 
wish we could disable the wait time. It's it's that wait time that's really screwing us over. Huh. I don't I don't really see a way to make this better. Other than a higher quality inserter, which I'm sure is what you guys are thinking. Um something something bots. Yeah, look, okay. At some point we'll do bot quality, but at this point. Um, so you delete, you change to bulky inserter. You request what looks to be 10 million items. Uh, apparently we're not putting gears in a requester chest or a provider chest. That feels odd. So I guess I'll take this opportunity make really cheap gears. Um, the stack inserter is... N well, is it faster? I thought it was. Where are you, stacky? No, it's 864. They're the same. Um, so if you're not grabbing the full amount of items, it doesn't matter. And and you use, you can use bulk inserters in far more areas than you can use stack inserters. So like this is actually a perfect example of where I actually literally can, it will break if I use a stack inserter. Where was I looking up here? Um, because a stack inserter waits for a full hand before it swings. So it would be sitting there holding green chips saying, I need 16 green chips before I swing, and it'll just be stuck. So you do want to be careful actually with. Um, yeah, how you do that. Now, I guess, is this a spot where mixing belt sides would just make things better? I actually think it would after we've split the commons off. If we use both sides of the belt, that should help too. It would have messed with things for the commons, but I can do that after the commons. And that splitter was just conveniently sitting there already. So that should make things a little better because it will more often be able to get what it wants in one swing and then not have to wait. But yeah, it's still not great. Um, okay, there we go. So now we can get like a rare bulk inserter. Now the question I have is do... Uh oh, I'm actually kind of concerned about this. Um, does the delay change at all? If the delay is the same, I think someone said it, well, no, that was for grabbing things. Interesting, I'm curious if the delay changes. And what I mean by delay is the delay between when it hasn't seen any of the item at once and then it actually decides to swing. If that delay is still just as high, this won't really change that much. All right, I think we will call it an episode there. I think the delay is the same, but the swing speed is quite a bit faster over there, so that's helping. And this belt thing is helping. So yeah, we are we are starting work to oh my god, what have I done? Why did I put this stuff so far away from where everything's put into chests? <laughs> um Wow. That might have been an ill-informed idea, but here we are. Um In any case, we are wait, wait what? Why does that not have anything on it? Oh, low density structure. Hold on. 
Why do I have zero low density structure? What? I have zero copper getting over there? That's great. That's just great. Uh, that's because that was a priority splitter. And we're using pretty much all of that copper is going to the heat exchangers right now. Um, so that's what's happening. Yeah, robo charging is starting to potentially become an issue. It doesn't seem to be that bad anywhere, so that's not a huge deal. There's a few congregating in this general area. But there's nowhere with like a big ring, which is when you know things are, you really need more. Okay, I am an hour and a half into this episode, so I am going to keep streaming here. But for those of you from future YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.